Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion with House of Vista Divine Ministries. My name is Sister Corlette and it's a pleasure to be before you one more time. Uh, my topic for today is godlessness. And godlessness is basically divine, is doing things without God or believing that God exists. I'm not recognizing his authority in your life. Uh, before I go any further, I offer a word of prayer before you this hour. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I want to thank you for your love and your kindness towards us, dear God. I want to thank you for every hearer, dear God, every listener that will be present, dear Father, in whichever time and hour that they will do it. I pray, dear God, that as they open their hearts to receive a word, dear God, that you will continue to speak to their hearts and their minds, dear Father, that their hearts will be inclined to hear from you, dear God, inclined to to affect change to God and allow change to happen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So Psalm 14 says that a fool had said in their heart that there is no God, right? That's 14.1. And basically that's saying that um, if you believe that God doesn't exist or have excluded him from your life, that you're foolish, right? That you, that you have no sense. If you're working without God in your life, um, they're making mistakes. If we say that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, if we have chosen to leave out God and His, and in turn his son Jesus Christ in our life, then we are not moving um, in strength, right? We're probably not moving and not being successful at all. We may get things done, um, but it will not be good success. I want to encourage you today, and today I'm going to be really quick um, for a change. I want to encourage you um, to... Connect with God. Find that place in your heart. Many times things have happened. We've been hurt by people. And in turn, we blame God and we remove our relationship from God. I don't want to say that again. We've been hurt by people. God does not hurt us. God has the best intent for our lives. But many times because of things and seasons that have happened, um, human beings has caused us some hurt. And our reaction now is to take it out in God. And in turn, we remove God and become Godless. And we see when we've done that, um, negative things will happen in your life. There is no success that can possibly be attached or no good success that can possibly be attached to not having God in your life. Um, godlessness renders you weak. Godlessness renders you incapable of doing anything that you may put your hands to do. Godlessness leads to evil doings. It leads to sinful acts uh, because we don't have the creator before us to teach us and to show us how to do things the right way. Godlessness leads us to instability. It leads us to unrest. It leads us to moments of peace, of lack of peace rather. Um, having God in our lives grants us peace, especially as the word says, if we keep our minds stayed on him, he will keep us in perfect peace. Continuing to lift up God and to trust him and to be faithful grants us the things that we want in our lives, right? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. But in pleasing him, we must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Godless people believe, don't believe in him. Godless people go willy-nilly doing what they want. They're not seeking any good counsel. They're not seeking counsel at all because they believe that they are the answer to every question. I pray that you don't function as a godless nation or as a godless human being. That you invite God into your life if he's not present at this moment. Or that you have not made connection because he's certainly present. He's our creator. That you have not made the connection that you need to make with him. I pray that you invite him into your heart. That you just say to him, Father, I surrender my all to you. I've heard a word. I may not know you the way I want to, dear God, but I don't want to continue doing things without you. I want every success that I have to be good success. So I invite you into my life, dear God. Help me to meditate on your word daily that that good success can be granted unto me. Godless choices or choices where we do not see God. The funny thing is there, there are many Christians Right, believers in Christ, believers in God, we would say, that are making godless decisions. We're moving about doing what we want without consulting Him. And it's important that we consult God, excuse me, 
for everything and every decision that we make. Continue to walk with the king and be a blessing. Invite him in. Allow him to, to speak to you. Allow him to minister to your heart. I pray today that if for some reason, as a believer, you are making godless decisions, that you repent, change your mindset and change your heart and seek him for everything in every movement that you make. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing that we should try to do that we feel that, you know, we don't need to ask God that. We need God's guidance and direction in everything that we do. We need to be godly people, not ungodly. We need to be full of God, not godless. Um, think on those things. I thank you for listening today. And I pray that um, you've received something from this word that we tend to think that the godless people are the unsaved. And many times the unsaved are making wiser decisions than the saved. Because we who ought to know who our creator is and who we ought to go to for guidance, many times want to do it on our own. Um, so I pray that if you are a believer, that you are a God-fearing believer, 